Let's go everybody, it is Logan here today with another review of Phobia St. Dina Hotel. I reviewed it on the PlayStation 5 and today I'm going to be walking through my thoughts and opinions on it. Give you guys my overall score, what I liked, what I didn't like, and kind of give you a little bit of in-depth breakdown. So if you guys don't know, Phobia St. Dina Hotel is a new survival horror FPS game developed by Pulsatrix Studios and published by Maximum Games. You play as a guy named Roberto Lita Lopez. You are a reporter traveling to Santa Catarina after a tip from a friend brings you to the hotel to investigate missing persons and reports of strange occurrences within. So let's talk about the elephant in the room. When you look at Phobia, you get a definite vibe of a knockoff Resident Evil. The Phobia's presentation takes a huge chunk of its inspiration from old and new style Resident Evil games and mixes the best of both worlds. And a lot of the aspects and mechanics between Resident Evil and Phobia are almost identical, even to the point that my wife who was watching me play it for this review asked me herself if this was in fact a new Resident Evil game altogether or a DLC of some type for Resident Evil, which is a fair assumption to ask. When you look at Phobia, you can instantly see that these two can easily be compared. The similarities between both are what I like and what I dislike about the game. Because Phobia kind of loses its own identity being too similar to the likes of new Resident Evil games from the combining system to inventory management, even the item box and save room music, all is very heavily inspired by Resident Evil. So how does Phobia St. Dina Hotel play? Well, Phobia's gameplay is heavily based on exploring environments, seeking out clues to complete different puzzles to advance the main story. And then one of the key items that stuck out in Phobia for me is that the camera that you find. When you use this camera, it allows Roberto to see alternate realities. With it, you'll also find different paths that were once blocked, now open, item restored from the past, and much more. There are dozens of puzzles, all with their unique twists to them, and it's one of Phobia's highlights. Where Roberto is not advanced when it comes to combat, it makes sense seeing as Roberto is a reporter, not a warrior, and there are upgrades that you can find for your arsenal to help you be more proficient along the way. The combat is simplistic. Best comparison I can give it is to the likes of Resident Evil 7. But the enemy variety is one thing that Phobia lacks in. There is literally only two main enemies that you'll find yourself fighting in between the few boss fights that the game has to offer. Outside of the few encounters you'll face, the rest of your time will be exploring every little corner, finding the next item needed to complete the puzzle you face. A lot of the puzzles presented in Phobia are really unique and challenging as well. Completing a puzzle always gave me that sense of a yes, I figured it out moment and chasing that feeling again and again is what intrigued me to go on to the next puzzle. Phobia runs off of the Unreal Engine 4 and it looks absolutely stunning. There are multiple times through my playthrough that I had to stop myself momentarily to really take in the world that the devs built. The hotel is massive and there is no detail spared in making it feel eerie and the player is stuck in isolation. Minimal contact with any other character in the game heightens this feeling even more. Phobia excels in making the player feel like they are on their journey all on their own with little to no help. The biggest appeal to me for Phobia would have to be the lack of hand holding that it presents. You really have to take it upon yourself to search through this big beautiful hotel to figure out the puzzles and figure out how to advance the next stage in the story. It requires you to learn the layout of the hotel and adapt as it changes as you may have to backtrack to past locations with new items acquired to then go and unlock other areas that were once blocked off to the player. This is the part that Phobia thrives in and captures the best as in most of the Resi recent Resident Evil games have fallen away from complex puzzle solving. So is Phobia St. Dina Hotel for you? While there is a story here, I found it to be one of the weak points of the game. There's a lack of cutscenes to spell out what's going on in the story. The player mostly gets all the backstory through collecting letters and notes left all throughout the levels that go in more in depth to what is happening and transpiring around you. So this question kind of depends on what you as a gamer enjoy. If you love survival horror games like Resident Evil and Silent Hill, absolutely. If you don't like heavy puzzle solving or self-driven exploration, then maybe not so much. So a couple of the pros and cons that I felt about Phobia St. Dina Hotel is that one, beautiful scenery, absolutely amazing to look at, no details spared in this game and it really pushes Unreal Engine 4. Sophisticated puzzles, Exploring feels rewarding and it does feel like Resident Evil. Those are my main four pros I would put towards this game. Now, my cons on the other hand, there's lack of enemy variety. The bosses are really lackluster and don't have much to offer. 
and the game struggles to find it's just all too familiar it doesn't stand out it doesn't break out of that norm and it honestly a lot of things are just kind of cut and paste so i like that it felt like resident evil but then i also didn't like that it felt too much like resident evil and so i would have to give phobia saint dina hotel a 7 out of 10. if you guys like the review don't forget to hit a like button down below throw out a comment there if you guys played phobia let us know if you liked it if you agree with this review disagree with this review and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and we will catch you guys next time peace <laughs> let's try this again <laughs> dina and katarina dina katarina dina katarina dina katarina <laughs> all right all right <laughs> three two one